Um, I'm going to show you how to put a liquid photo emulsion into your metal plate for photo etching. Um, we're in the dark room already, so the plates have already been prepared. That means filing, degreasing. Now, the, the only difference I want to make sure you see is that the plate will be filed and degreased with the vinegar and the French chalk, but then the way we want, usually I ask you guys to use the sponge, but for photo etching, I want you to use the scorer to make sure that we have a little dentation for the emulsion to sit, okay? Before I turn the lights off, I want to show you the emulsion that we use. This is the photo etching emulsion. It's on the first shelf, as well as bringing out the roller and a spatula. Okay, we're going to be working on a glass surface to spread it out. Remember to uh, touch the roller, make sure that the roller doesn't have any dust, that doesn't have that it's clean, and it doesn't have any kind of uh, pointy things on it because that would damage our um, emulsion. So I'm gonna now turn the lights off and hopefully you'll get to see the procedure. So the lights are off. I've got red lights on and what I'm going to do is put a little bit of the emulsion on the glass table. Yeah. Remember, the emulsion is quite expensive and we don't charge for it. All we want you to do is not to be wasteful and we'll be happy with that. That's what you do. I'm gonna start rolling it out into a nice thin layer. The sound of it when I'm rolling it out, it's telling me that it's too charged, so it has too much emulsion. So use your spatula to remove some of that excess and roll it again. Once the emulsion is rolled out, I'm going to, I'm placing the plate on the glass and I'm going to roll it out nice and thin. very difficult for me to show you but I'm gonna turn the light on so you can have a quick look so this is what the thin layer looks like yeah it's a nice thin layer of blue you leave them to dry but the question next will be how long do I need to let them dry it changes depending on the day, if it's humid, if it's cold, hot, if it's cold, it's, it's different. Um, so you just have to let it sit for a, at least 15, 20 minutes, come and check. Put your finger in a corner and make sure that it's not tacky. It shouldn't be tacky. It should just be dry to the touch. Remember not to touch it with the light on. What I've done uh, at the moment is just place them into this drying cabinet that we have here. It's the gray one. So they're in here and it's dark, so there's no reason for the light to be affecting the plates. Uh, and while 
before I disappear from the dark room, I need to make sure that I clean my roller and the table because if we leave the emulsion to sit and dry, it will um, it will be something that um, that would damage the technique. Next stage is putting some gloves on, getting the sponge that is on the second and the first shelf as well. Um, it, it looks blue and it should be dry, it shouldn't be wet. Um, you're going to get the stripper solution from that same shelf. Apply some stripper to the table. And then I'm going to use the, the stripper on the table to roll, to use it on the roller. Okay. And to make sure that we clean it from the spatula as well. So I can start using the sponge to remove all uh, blue from the glass. And at the same time, I'm going to use it to clean the roller. Make sure you turn the roller and you work on it little by little. Once you've removed all of the blue, you're going to wash it in the sink with soap and water. Make sure you wash it properly. Now the glass will have to be cleaned with the glass cleaner once you've done the stripper to make sure there is no stripper left on the table as it would be harmful, harmful for your skin. So you don't want to touch the stripper directly with your hands. So by doing these, I've made sure that the next person that comes has a clean, non-toxic free space and can do a, a nice photo emulsion.